Hello, this is Haka Dabin, and I'm here with SCP-848. Also known as Interdimensional Spiderwebs. If you liked the video, please leave the video a like, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Anyway, we're getting into this. Item number, SCP-848. Object Class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures SCP-848 is to be contained in a 10 meter by 10 meter by 5 meter isolation chamber, which is to contain several non-organic structures that may be used by SCP-848-1 specimens to construct SCP-848-2. SCP-848-1 specimens usually do not need to be fed, but if they are unable to feed for periods lasting greater than 2 weeks, or we get to exhibit signs of malnutrition, harmless insects may be introduced to scp 848's containment as food. SCP-848's chamber must be cleansed at least once per week and continuously monitored for the appearance of anomalous objects. In the case of hostile organisms, armed response teams may be deployed and full nuclear biochemical precautions should be observed by all personnel when retrieving objects from SCP-848-2. <sighs> Description: SCP-848 is a colony of uh, Ephelaiclavipes, or Golden's Oak or Reverse, or Banana uh, uh, Spiders. Specimens of SCP-848-1 are approximately 15% larger and significantly stronger and faster than end specimen ends of the Banana Spiders, but generally no more dangerous than a typical spider of the genus is to humans and do not exhibit any particular or hostility to humans in their containment. SCP-848-2 is the web created by SCP-848-1. As with normal oh, banana spiders, SCP-848-2 can be enormous and off end times reach diameters of 5 meters or more. The silk used in the production of SCP-848-2 is somewhat stronger than normal or banana spiders, but otherwise appears normal in composition. Periodically, anomalous objects were dis discovered and ensnared in SCP-848-2. The frequency of these is occurrences varies greatly, but typically occurs from once per week to uh, up to a dozen in one day. Required objects found in SCP-848-2 who have included various flying Insects typical to that of SCP 8481's natural habitat to date, over 300 recorded species of flies, moth, and other insects have been logged. Various flying insects that only exist in regions of the world where SCP 8481 is not known, known to populate, including exotic deep rainforest insects. Various kinds of scrap of inanimate objects, including paper and plant and detritus. Several species of in flying insects not known to not modern science. Several unidentified organisms that quickly as asphyxiated when exposed to oxygen and may not be a terrestrial in origin. Data expunged and data expunged. And all those objects will appear on SCP-848 despite having no plausible explanation for their origin, leading to the belief that SCP-848-2 is able to catch objects from extraterrestrial or extra-dimensional locations. SCP-848-1 and is able to feed on most insects found on SCP-848-2, and thus does not need to be regularly fed. Addendum 84801 Log of Notable Recovered Objects The dates are all unknown, so I'm just going to skip that. Details An unidentified insect appeared on SCP-848-2. The insect appeared to have 12 legs, as well as an organ that could only be you described as a blank specimen destroyed as a as a precaution. A flying insect resembling a terrestrial dragonfly with a wingspan of nearly one meter, believed to have become extinct approximately 150 million years ago, caused significant damage to SCP-848-2 before being neutralized by SCP-848-1 venom. SCP-848-1 then later repaired the damage to SCP-848. To without incident. An unknown non terrestrial organism which began screeching loudly before expiring from asphyxiation and explosive 
in the ancient from its eyes. An autopsy performed by Dr. Blank determined that the creature was not capable of reading oxygen, and in fact could not survive in an atmosphere with Earth's normal atmospheric pressure. <sighs> On an unknown instant, 848 1. On an unknown date, a data expunge materialized on SCP 848 and immediately breached containment. Using a, a blank, the data expunge and data expunge and before or response teams were dispatched and terminated the subject after sustaining multiple casualties. Several specimens of SCP 848 1 were killed during the incident, but civil re reading population still remains. SCP-848 has been redesignated at Euclid class, and revised containment procedures are pending review. I hate spiders. So just imagining a whole bunch of banana spiders making webs in a room, and you have to deal with that constantly, seems like torture. Anyway, these are not just spiders. These are anomalous spiders that create webs that go through extra dimensions or or even to other planets. Maybe the webs go through time, it seems. I wonder if that means that the spiders themselves and anything on the webs are also able to go through to go to these other dimensions and the times and other planets. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. If you did not enjoy this video, then you just wasted 7 minutes of your life, and at this point, I'm just going to laugh at you before wasting in your time. Because at this point, it is your own fault. I'll see you next time with some more stuff to read. <sighs> Maybe I'll do something under an SCP tomorrow. We'll see you next time. Goodbye!